The Independent Review Board in the death of Sean Souter has met six times. Now, according to a source familiar with the report, they conclude Souter shot himself in West Baltimore in November 2017. The report will detail evidence to back up the conclusion, which includes multiple factors that indicate a self-inflicted wound. Souter was shot with his own gun, his service weapon. There is no evidence of a second gun, no evidence of the presence of a second person. Souter's gun was found underneath his body. His DNA was found on his sleeve, indicating he was holding the gun when it was fired. There is also video from a security camera that shows Souter darting into the vacant lot. Sources say it reveals too little time for an altercation with someone to have occurred. The report is lengthy, laborious reading, a source familiar with it says. It also reviews the way the department handled the incident and its decisions to lock down the community for several days. A source says that the report is likely to cover Souter's federal grand jury that was supposed testimony that was supposed to happen the day after he died. If you recall, he was a witness in the gun trace task force corruption case. Source says the report is likely to cover the impact that that may have had on him. And just to underline the skepticism with a finding like this, what that might be, just before I went on the air, a man drove by in a car and yelled out, Sean Souter did not kill himself. Reporting live tonight in West Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.